Wade Van Niekerk, who hasn't lost a race this year, including his heats and his semi-finals. He can dip below 20 seconds for the 200 meters. He's very, very fast. They're away. And the big man, Karani James, got a good start. But on his outside, Van Niekerk going well and catching up Santos on his outside. Merritt's also running well, running hard as possible. But at the moment, it looks like Van Niekerk, as Karani James realizes he's got a bit of a, ha bit of a battle on his hands here. Also running well, Makwala on the inside of Karani James. Not much to choose between them. Santos maybe coming hard off the bend in the lead from LaShawn Merritt. It is Santos at the moment. And Van Niekerk running well. Van Niekerk is running well. James coming out hard on the outside. LaShawn Merritt losing ground. But it's going to be Van Niekerk. South Africa win it. That was a treat of a final. Certainly was. Well, you've got to give it credit to this young South African now. Wade Van Niekerk came off the bend. He had a metre or so. And I think that's the problem with someone like Kirani James. He likes to come hard on that last 100 metres. But Van Niekerk just going away from him over this last 20 metres or so. Charging on the outside, LaShawn Merritt gets that silver with a great run. All three of those under 44. Well, he's run himself into a gold medal. Into lane number six, the Olympic champion, the world record holder, the world leader. Sub 10 seconds, sub 20 seconds, and 43.03 at his best. Wade Van Niekerk starts in six. So the roar goes around the stadium for the final of the men's 400 metres. Gardner of the Bahamas going well in lane number four. Van Niekerk going well in lane number six. Curly moving well, the American, in lane number two. But round the top bend, Gardner, a slight advantage of Bahamian in lane number four. But look at the afterburners, Wade Van Niekerk put his foot down in lane number six. He's going to swing into the home straight, the world leader. The South Africans running well. Tebe of Botswana in lane number nine running well. Gardner on a charge. But nobody can stop the world record holder. Yeah, watch, watch Haroon here, because Curly has given his best early on in the race. He's absolutely miles back at the moment, the man from Qatar. Van Niekerk really strong in the closing stages. Gardner was tying up a little bit. Tebe thought he'd got the bronze. Gold again then for Wade Van Niekerk, 43.98 seconds. In four, the brilliant Bahamian. He got a silver two years ago. He is in the form of his life. Box for Gardner in lane three, the Bahamian. Curly's outside him and he's made a good start, the American. It's pretty even at the moment. Karani James coming up onto the shoulder of Zambrano, the 21-year-old Colombian. Fred Curley trying to pull away from Gardner, but the Bahamian has got a massive stride. James has got Sardinio trying to close him down. This could be a great finish. It's tight. Sardinio Trinidad, Karani James with a slight edge. And now Gardner on the inside. Stephen Gardner trying to become the first Bahamian to win this title since 2001. It's quick, it's very quick. Gardner takes the title. Well, it was around about 150 metres to go. This is where he really came into his own. It was anyone's race until this point. But coming into that last 100 metres, Gardner had two metres and he just extended it. We can see Karani James there. He's going backwards at this point. And it was quite a convincing win in the end for Gardner. Really nice technician. Keeps his core nice and strong. Really floaty athlete. And just a really, really well-judged race there for Gardner. Stephen Gardner is the new world champion.